The Earth. Charming, isn't it? Very hard to leave when the big cataclysm happened nearly three millennia ago. The survivors fled to Mars. That's where I was born. And now, in the year 5000, we have come back. The adventurers, the academics, the archaeologists. We're here to solve the mysteries of this lost world. These mushrooms are so small. I should leave them be. Hi, Micro. Can I help? Sorry, Henry. I need to focus on Max. He's pretty deep into the hole. I could hold the rope for a while. I can't pass you the rope. This requires maximum concentration. I can't let go until I'm sure Max has landed safely at the bottom. But... It's so dark down there. Max is so brave. How will you know when he's on solid ground? I don't know how I'll know. That's why I'm holding on. What if you cramp up? That position doesn't look too comfortable. I'm a professional. The key is to stay focused. And to wiggle your toes a little. It reminds me of the holes I dug in my mum's flower beds. I always knew I wanted to be an archaeologist. The one in the middle is my backpack. Here's my geological chronometer. Could be useful. And somewhere around here... Hey! Where's my trowel? Did someone take my trowel? Why would I want your trowel? We didn't take it. I don't even understand why you keep it. It's obsolete. Objectively outmoded. I can't believe my trowel has disappeared. At least the geological chronometer was in there. I'll need it if I want to know how old something is. Cobra? Dijon. Do you really need to call me by my last name? Okay. Any news? You're late. I stayed up working really late last night. Total was sure there was a cross-shaped anomaly on the Chinese vase we found. In the end, it turned out it was just upside down. <laughs> Never mind. Have you talked with base camp? I made contact this morning. Would you mind asking them? I'd like to know if they need anything. <sighs> Situation update, PJ. They say they're fine, Dijon. They're always fine. You don't seem too busy. You're right. Should I be more like you, wandering around aimlessly looking at stuff? No, no. You should stay where you are. The lighting in this part of the cave enhances your natural scowl. Shouldn't you be cataloguing the latest finds? Don't insult me, Dijon. You don't need an archaeology degree to do grunt work. Let Carlotta do it. Carlotta's busy. Then you can do it. You don't look busy. This is why you and I don't talk more. What made you want to become an archaeologist? You don't seem very excited by the work. The rest of you get way too excited. I'm good at this job, Dijon. And it pays well. But why archaeology? You could make more money as a security cop. Honestly, I thought archaeology would involve more action. At least it gave me a chance to leave Mars. I always thought you'd be good in the army. Yeah, me too. They wanted me to cut my hair. Yeah, they're pretty old-fashioned. And on top of that... Wait a second. Are we having a friendly chat? No. No way. Stop trying to butter me up, Dijon. Leave it, Cobra. The magic is gone. You wouldn't happen to have taken my trowel. I don't care about your trowel. But have you seen it? No. I'll leave you alone. Finally. It's firmly fixed in the ground. Is everything okay? Wait a minute, Henry. I have to read the locator. Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. 
4526765 logged if you need anything let me know i can't find my trowel you used it yesterday to open a beer at base camp but where is it now i don't know why you don't just dispose of it it's almost an antique itself exactly it's a design classic i can't find my trowel you used it but where is it i don't know why you don't just it's almost an exact see you later How's the expedition going? Henry! Just let me check. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. What was the question again? Have you found any interesting artifacts? Yes, a beautiful statue and a pair of vases. Luke says they could be more than 3,000 years old. 3,000 years old? You mean they're pre-cataclysmic? Total must be thrilled. The last time we found something this old, the Vice Dean took credit for the discovery while Total went to get champagne. Well, he's still not happy. He's been grumbling all morning. So stay on his good side, okay? 2880. 2880. Logged. Sorry, what were you saying? What are you working on? I'm logging the data Luke's gathering, and Micro is helping Max plumb the depths of the fissure. To tell you the truth, Henry, I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't want to mess up the first time Total takes me on an expedition. Cheer up, Carlotta. You can do more damage than Total usually does himself. In 92, he got trapped inside a Sardinian sarcophagus he was studying. We found him, fast asleep, hugging the mummy. <laughs> Really? Total told me you were the one who got trapped and that he saved your life with his bare hands. <laughs> what? He tried to convince me it was Cobra. He said she got locked in with a bunch of venomous snakes and he saved her using a tin opener. Me? I was the one who noticed he was missing. Good old Total. He likes to play the hero, but if he hadn't got stuck in that sarcophagus, we never would have found the inscription on the lid. How's Total? Oh, I don't know. He spent all day muttering at the far end of the site. I offered to help earlier, but he asked me to leave because I was breathing too loud. What's all that yammering about? Back to work, everybody! You haven't seen my trowel. Maybe you left it in your sleeping bag again. I do not take the trowel to bed with me. Yeah, I really like this art Good. style, Danny. You've learned your lesson. It's you all hand drawn. Maybe you left it in your sleeping bag again. I do not take the trowel to bed with me. Good. You've learned your lesson. See you later. I'll be here if you need anything. I'm really glad I finally got to come out on a dig. Sight markers, hefty crates, deal light in a can. I don't need this stuff today. It's password protected. Perhaps I can guess it. I just Let's started it. Zero, zero, this is the zero, opening zero, zero, scene. Zero, 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 zero. Wrong. What are the chances? Let's try. Damn, that doesn't work either. Only one more try. I really thought it would work that time. Sight markers, hefty crates, deal light in a can. I don't need this stuff today. Broken again. Probably total in one of his moods. I'm an experienced archaeologist. I'm not going to remove a relic just like that. Sorry I'm late, Total. I overslept. Henry, please, don't distract me with such trifles. I must solve this riddle. Days of work and we're still stuck in the wrong chamber. This chamber is pretty interesting, isn't it? Do you want to spend the rest of the dig on the wrong side of a door as promising as this? Well... No. We must be in some kind of antechamber. 
Our finds have been most Danny, decorative. can you just confirm that my that mic is in fact working tonight? Important. Because I don't want to go through another stream. Why don't we just knock through the wall? No explosives. <laughs> With it not you working. Can't risk damaging whatever is on the other side. I'll wager this door is okay, something thank you. <laughs> very, very important. There has to be another way. These inscriptions, they're the key, but I can't decipher them. Speak, friend, and enter. No, nothing works. I want a closer look at these inscriptions. The markings, they're very crude. I can't be certain, but something tells me these inscriptions aren't really ancient. Maybe Total is wasting his time. I should look for a way to test my hypothesis. What's that? Nothing. They're beautiful inscriptions. I better not say anything to Total oh, until I'm sure. <laughs> the last thing I need is him having a meltdown. A little sad They're face. They're really stuck in the ground. Uh, I want a closer look. Oh, the markings. Oh. They're very... I can't be maybe Toto. I should look for... What's that? Nothing. They're... I better not say anything to Toto. The last thing I need is him having a... Right. Uh... These mushrooms are so... mushrooms are I don't need to go back to the camp they need me at the ex only one more try I really thought it would work that sight markers hefty crates the other light and I don't need this how do I open up my inventory? Press all the buttons. Oh, there we go. Now? Let's see. Yeah, just <laughs> smash everything. Interesting. Very interesting. According to these readings, the door is no more than 500 years old. That's way more modern than our other finds. It can only mean one thing. The ancient door is covered in some kind of clay sediment. And the inscriptions, they must be more recent than the door. Someone carved them onto the clay. The real door must be sealed under the surface according to the geological chronometer the real door must be all right so i probably need something to dig that out like perhaps this broken tool broken again nope uh can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I but you can't see. Can we talk? I can't talk. I but you can't see. It's empty now. The geological chronometer and my trowel should have... Cobra. Do you know the password for the toolbox? No. Now, if you don't mind, I'm very busy. I'll leave you alone. Finally. Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. Locked. How come the toolbox is locked? We always lock up the kit when we're in the field. Standard practice. I need some tools. Do you know the code? Kind of. It's a lot of numbers to remember every day, so Micro and I remember half each. 
I know the first four numbers, and Micro knows the rest. You want me to write them down for you? Don't bother. I have a photographic oh, memory. God. I don't need to write them down. Yes, I do. It's up to you. The password is <laughs> 5657. 5657, logged. No, no, Kalada. That wasn't a reading. Oh, but it's already been logged. Let me see that. I already forgot it. What was it? 5657. I'd better leave them alone. Now I need the other four numbers. Kalata. You wouldn't know the password for the toolbox. I knew yesterday's password, but the twins change it every day. Oh my god. Wait, who are the twins? See you later. Oh, here they're twins. Anything. Sir. Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I have to help Max until he gets to the bottom of the hole. But you can't see anything down there. Okay. I need to do it something with the hole. It reminds me of the holes I dug in my mum's flower beds. I always knew I would. <laughs> Remember that number, Danny. <laughs> Four, five, two, six, seven, six, five. Four, five. Locked. See you later. Um, can I just like cut the rope or something? What if I use the doohickey on him? Why would I want to date him? We studied together. He's my <laughs> age. Are you though? I can't date the empty space. Mm. Fifteen months old, I'd say. Too young to pick. I don't want to know how old Cobra is. Yes, Perfect. you do. I don't want to know anything about you at all. Why would I want to date him? We studied together. He's my age. <laughs> the wording is just pristine. That would be pretty rude. A gentleman would just ask how old she is. I don't need to date it. I still need half a password. It's empty. Of course it is. Um... Date this guy. It doesn't matter how old he is, he's young in spirit. So he should be able to tie this rope to one of these lamps if they're so far in the ground. Seriously, I can't pull them up. Yeah, that's the point. Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I have to help Max until he gets to the... But you can't see anything down there. Sight markers, hefty crate, deal of light in the... I don't need this stuff to... No matter how much I keep doing it, but if you must know, they have a sophisticated clamping system that keeps them fixed in place. Do you say though? No matter how much I keep doing if you must know, they have... Uh... Oh, what about this? Hmm. The smell of recently dug up earth gets me emotional. I'd better look away. I don't want to cry. Oh, just hmm. cry. <laughs> I'd better look away. No matter how much I keep, you must know. No, 
matter how much I if you must. This mushroom looks a little bigger. I'm going to take it. Can I feed him the mushroom? Oh, oh, oh no, thank you. Take it. Oh, oh. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. No way. Nice mushroom. Nice mushroom. That's so wrong. Total, I've dated the door and it's less than 500 years old. Sorry? I think the real door is buried under a layer of clay. But, but what about the inscriptions? The inscriptions must be recent too. Maybe even less than 100 years old. Supreme squid, <laughs> are you sure? I used my geological chronometer. Nice mushroom. Didn't you think of that? <laughs> I was getting round to it, uh, but they seemed so ancient. Perhaps I should have been more skeptical. <laughs> How do you explain the inscriptions then? I think they might not be inscriptions. I think they're gratings. Hmm. Well, this could be good news. Do you think you can clear a way through the door? Uh, I'll try. What are you expecting to find behind this door? I think we're looking at pre-cataclysmic remains here, Henry. Pre-cataclysmic? That seems optimistic. We need a little optimism in this job. Any idea how we can get through the door? Now that we know the inscriptions are <clears throat> not of value, we need some kind of solvent to soften the clay and a tool to work it loose. A tool like my trowel? I was thinking of something more modern, like a thermal pick or a nano detonator. But yes, if it makes you happy, I suppose your crummy old trowel would oh, do. Don't be rude. Any idea how we can get through the door? Some kind of solvent. A tool like my trap. I was thinking about the inscriptions. Yes, yes, they're not really ancient, I know. I was just going to say... Spit it out. It's just that you seem so absorbed in deciphering them. Nonsense. <clears throat> anyway, there's no reason to go blabbing to the others about this. Let's keep it between us, shall we? Do you know the password for the toolbox? Carpet. Yes, it was carpet. No, <laughs> wait, that's the password for my safe. Oh, I gotta remember that. Total's safe password is carpet. <laughs> I'm worried. I think I've lost my trowel. Your trowel? I saw it inside the binocular case, near the rubble. Are you sure? Well, at first I thought it was my trowel, but then I remembered I don't use a trowel because it's the 50th century. So it must have been yours. When did you see the trowel in the binocular case? I just finished my morning checklist, so it couldn't have been later than 10. But when I went back at 11 o'clock, the binocular case had disappeared. I remember, because I saw Cobra chewing gum. That's weird. Cobra never chews gum before her 11.15 workout. Precisely. That's why I checked the time. By 11 o'clock, the binoculars were already gone. Somebody must have moved them. I'll look in the rubble. There must be some trace. Don't worry. I'll find a way to open that door. Footprints. Interesting. I can make out indentations from the binocular case and heel marks. Oh, she's wearing heels. Is Cobra wearing heels? No. Is she wearing heels? I can't tell. Kalata. Where were you between 10 and 11 this morning? Sorry? Total witnessed the binocular case over by the rubble around 10, but an hour later, it was gone. Binocular case? I think my trowel was in the binocular case, and I noticed heel marks around there from your heels, Kalata. Henry, are you accusing me of something? You took my trowel. 
I'm just asking questions, Mom. <laughs> Fine. Let me think. Yes, I saw the case. It was lying in the rubble, and I thought it might get lost. So I gave the case to Micro. What time was that? Around 11, I think. No, I'm sure. Because Micro was downloading data from the base computer, and he got an electric shock. The computer clock stopped at exactly 10.55, the time I gave him the case. So Micro must have your trowel. But if it's in the binocular case, he wouldn't know that. I'll talk to him. Don't leave town, OK? See you later. I'll be here if you need anything. Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I have no, to help Max until he gets to the bottom of the hole. But you can't see anything down there. Do you think that's close? Maybe it glows. Oh. Watch out for falling mushrooms, Max. Damn, I've hit him on the head. Ha ha. You can see the bottom of the hole now. Yes, Max made it down in one piece. Whew. Shouldn't you have some kind of radio contact with Max? Uh, we do, but I left the receiver in my other suit. Micro, I need the password for the toolbox. Well, don't tell Luke, but I didn't memorize it. Oh, I wrote it on a piece of paper. <laughs> Luke takes password security real seriously. Let me see. Seven, eight, two, three. But that's just the last four numbers. Seven, Luke eight, will remember two, the three, rest. Seven, I better get eight, back to watching two, Max. Three, seven, no, eight, Max, two, put your copper light down. Now I have the full password. Where were you between 11 and 12 Thanks. this morning? <laughs> I have five, witnesses six, five, seven, that saw seven, you eight, handling two, the binocular case at 11. <laughs> I appreciate it, because I'm going to forget it by the time this conversation <laughs> Damn it, Henry. <laughs> Some mysteries are best left buried. <gasps> did he bury it? You must know where the binocular case ended up. I'm sure you didn't mean to do anything wrong. I just want my trowel. I won't rest until I find it. I, I don't have the case. Luke is very strict when it comes to equipment. He'd go nuts if I lost a piece of kit. I, I've said too much. Jack Hughes, Micro. Kalata told me <laughs> everything. You can't hide it any longer. Come clean. All right, all right. But don't judge me. Promise you won't tell anyone. My lips are sealed. I just want my trowel. Okay, then. When Carlotta gave me the binocular case, I saw something shiny inside. I swear, I didn't know it was your trowel. But I realized the binoculars weren't in there. Luke is so damn strict about us losing things. I knew he'd be mad about it. There was nothing I could do except get rid of the case. Are you telling me you destroyed my trowel? I, I hid the case in the rocks near the cave entrance. Hmm. Thanks, Micro. I promise I won't tell Luke anything. You're a good friend. I'll leave you alone. And the rocks by the entrance. Micro said he hid the binocular case among the rocks near the entrance. I'm getting close. I better look around. No sign of the case or of my trowel. Wait a second. There's a puddle of water here and over there. That's chewing gum. What did Total say about chewing gum? I don't no know, did he even say anything about chewing gum? Of my trowel. Wait a second. Someone spilled chewing gum. What did Total say about gum? Let's see. I don't even have to memorize it. Done. Hmm. <laughs> Most of the tools must be in use. There must be something uh... useful in amongst these supplies. Ah. Aqua dentata. Water with bite. After all that, yeah. So much panic and anxiety. I'm gonna forget the code. Sir, what did you say about gum? About my trowel. I really don't know where it is. I saw it inside the binocular case, near the rubble. Don't worry, I'll find a way to open that door. He didn't say anything about gum. This chick was one chewing the Cobra. gum. 
Well, well, Cobra. Thought you'd gotten away with it. Are you playing detective again? Didn't you end up getting a dead leg last time? Yes, you may have given me a dead leg, but this time I'm ready for you. Uh, go on then. Where were you just after 11 this morning? I was doing my daily workout. Unlike you, I like to keep in shape. I have to get her to confess. Uh... You're lying, Cobra. Total says he saw you chewing gum at 11 o'clock. You couldn't have finished in time for your exercises. I know you'd never chew and work out. Weak, Dijon. The only gum in the ration kit is Quick Chew brand. After 30 seconds, it loses all its flavor. I have irrefutable proof that you were at the entrance to the cave around 11. What proof? A cigarette butt? A lipstick smudge? Maybe a footprint? I hope it's a footprint. Come on, Cobra. This won't work if you don't play along. Okay, whatever. I'm innocent, Your Honor. Morning workout, eh? Sounds like thirsty work. Keeping hydrated isn't a crime. Of course not. However, there was no water on site, right? So you had to go back to base camp. And when you approached the cave entrance, you found the binocular case. So dun, what dun, if dun. I did? Um, I'm looking for it. Why didn't you just say so? Because I thought you would lie about it. You usually do. I do love to lie, true. I don't need you to tell me where it is. I can tell just by looking at your face. What? You're a good liar, but a bad poker player. And what's that got to do with anything? You get nervous easily. Enough mind games, Dijon. I've got it! What? Your hands. They're covered in fluorescent dust. I didn't see it until you got nervous and started moving. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't need to say anything, Cobra. This morning, you hid my trowel in the binocular case and buried it in the rubble, hoping it would be lost, no doubt. And it would have been if Kalata hadn't stumbled upon it. Later, when you saw the case near the entrance, you knew your plan had failed. You decided to hide it again, this time among the mushrooms. That's why your hands are completely covered in luminous mushroom spores. Cobra, Cobra, Cobra. All this effort, just to annoy me. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, it took hardly any effort. Maybe in among this bunch of mushrooms. No, it's not here. I suppose Cobra wouldn't hide it so close to her. She keeps looking that way. I'm gonna assume it's these. No sign of the trowel. No, it's not here. Oh, for Pete's sake. Kind of, yeah. Trial. Another case solved by that. Detective Dijon. All right, let's clear off this door. Do, do. Let's see. It's working. The clay has softened, but I still can't remove it with my hands. I need a precision tool to remove it. You I need my trowel. You just picked it up. Do I have to tell you to use it? <laughs> This should work. The clay comes off easily. Let's see what's underneath. Incredible. It has a handle. Open it, Henry. Open it. We can see what's behind this door at last. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the door's open, Total. It's very dark. We need lanterns. 
We can't waste any more time. Come on, kids. Let's go, Henry. You first. <laughs> of course. By the supreme squid. This is brilliant. What is it? It's an ancient mural, Carlotta. This is the real deal. It's incredible. Perfectly preserved. This discovery will change history. I'm going to date it. Three thousand years old. It's pre-cataclysmic? Of course it's pre-cataclysmic. Don't you see? See what? It just says Trop. Metropolis. Exactly. The place you were telling me about. Total's last city. Are you sure about this, Professor? We've been wrong before. It's more than a hunch this time, Cobra. So this is Metropolis. Seems kind of small and dingy. This isn't the city, Carlotta. It's just a clue showing the way. Exactly. So, are you gonna go look for it? Can I come too? Kalada, Mutropolis probably doesn't exist outside of Total's imagination. It's Atlantis. It's El Dorado. A city concealing treasures more than 200 million years old. 200 million? Relics from a time when the world was populated by monsters. They were called... Dinotaurs. I thought they were just bedtime stories. The legends say their bones lie in Mutropolis. And that's all they are. Legends. Oh. It is hard to believe a place like Metropolis really existed. Enough skepticism already. Archaeology is about curiosity. It would be a sight to see. I thought... Cobra, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. Let me go. Total, what's going on? Are you okay? Who turned out the lights? Let go. What? Ouch! Henry? Careful. They're over here. Quick, they're getting away. After them. Where's Henry? He must Where's be chasing Cobra? them. Where's Cobra? watch out. Stay close to me. Kalada? Damn it. Run. <laughs> of course I didn't run. <sighs> but. No. No, 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 no. Where did? Oh, I, I thought a I saw thing. a giant dog. Hello. Must have just been a weird-looking stalactite. I need to calm down. Breathe, Henry. You need to calm Breathe. Down. Right. It's Micro's flashlight. I have to find the others. Okay, but pick up the flashlight. These rocks came from the ceiling, not the mural. I wonder how they extracted it. There's no trace of explosives, and the rupture looks clean. I think it's my blood. <laughs> Judging by the state of the soil, whoever went down this rope must have weighed a ton. The mural has been extracted. They look like reptilian tracks. There are marks in the sand, like someone dragged a wheelbarrow. The mural has been no, I think extracted. Click on that. I don't have the strength to climb up. Of course not. Uh... The path is blocked by a cave-in. Nice. I think the orange one saw us. It does not matter. The we have the one. old man. You are despicable. Six thousand years. Six thousand years you were in charge. Now it is my turn, sister. You murdered Osiris. The pleasure was all mine. Then you must go on alone. I will not support you. Good news at last.
Are you all right, Kalada? I think so. What about you, Cobra? She they jumped shoes. me from behind. Cowards. They've taken total. Oh, Max. I'm so glad you're safe. I saw Total being bundled onto a spaceship. Link and PJ got it just like we did. A surprise attack on base camp. Cobra, notify headquarters. We have to call the security cops. Am I bleeding from my head? <laughs> Do you think they'll demand a ransom? At least that would tell us Total's okay. I guess the secure cops are watching the university. No, they've already left. So soon? Have they searched Total's office? No, but they've secured statements from the entire staff. We could help them. There has to be some clue at the university. We all care about Total, but... We have to investigate, Luke. You're right. You're right. I'll search the security camera footage. I'll examine everything Total did before we embarked on the expedition. Perfect. You check the cameras and I'll search his office. Maybe we'll find something to make sense of this madness. Total's office is next door. There must be some clue there. Man experiencing chest pain. It's from the 16th century. One of the university's oldest finds. I found it. Astronaut Levinson. She led the first expedition to Mars. It was thanks to her that we began terraforming the planet. A relic from the early 20th century. In very good condition. Forged from pure plastic. Very valuable. It's a plug. No one knows for sure what they were used for, but we have found thousands of them. 20th century banknotes. The plastic coating is unmistakable. No one knows what these banknotes did, but they were considered very important. It's a credit card. <laughs> the little one looks quite portable. Wow, I know this species. An extra hot Martian chili. It's sealed. This is where we keep emergency survival equipment. In case of environment failure and whatnot. I don't need anything from the cupboard. College is a pretty safe place. Is it? Sounds spicy. Oh, can I it's take a light bulb? Order. It's all in order. Can we light bulb? Post-constructivist. Pre-cataclysm. It looks heavy. It's not from my favorite period, to be honest. Ouch! Those spines are sharp. Well, why'd you touch them? <laughs> we've gathered a lot of information about this creature's DNA, but so far, we've only managed to Badum, reconstruct bumps. the head. <laughs> oh, they don't know we've what a rhino body a looks like. We've lot of information about this creature's DNA, but so far, we've only managed to reconstruct the head. Is there anything over here? All right. Oh, actually, no, go down that I don't want to first. go downstairs. Oh. A facial reconstruction simulator. Very useful in archaeology. We've just input all the cranial data from an expedition in Norway. That looks like a Sam and Max. Looks like Sam. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> angry boy. <laughs> we'll do angry. Why not?
This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. Oh, was that not it? Alright, fine. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. Do I know anybody that has a mohawk like that? Oh, I can't help but think that that's supposed to be... <laughs> it looks so much like him. supposed to be looking for. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. Oh, is it one of the paintings? Hold that thought, lady. Why won't it open? Oh. <laughs> Nothing against skeleton, but oh, I'm wrong. Stop it. Oh, is it her? All right, hold on. This face doesn't look familiar. I'm sure I can do better if I try again. Are they saying that she's a Neanderthal? <laughs> Her hair is definitely in here. This face doesn't oh, look come familiar. On. <laughs> I'm sure I can do better if I try again. This face doesn't look... I'm sure I can... <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll just talk to her. Henry, have you heard anything? Nothing, Kalata. We're waiting for news from the Secura Cops. Are you all right, Kalata? What? No, I... I think I'm still in shock. Is that alcohol? What? <laughs> Don't worry. I just need to relax. If you need anything... I'd like to look around Total's office. His office? No one has been in since... Well, let me open the door for you. It'll still be locked. You can go through now, Henry. Okay, but I really want to figure this out. I don't have anything. Oh. It's made of real Martian soil. That huge tome is just for show. The real books are in Total's office. The Masks of Tremoa, a discovery that changed archaeology. They look ancient, but these masks are post-cataclysm. We hypothesize that a small population stayed behind after the collapse. They must have lived very hard lives. They died out around 1,500 years yeah, ago. No, Looks like they couldn't second. hold out until we got back. There's nothing interesting there. What? This place has been turned upside down. Someone searched the office. They've taken Total's files. 
But when did this happen? Their contracts and official university papers. What? It says Total's going to raise my salary. We have to rescue him. <laughs> it's important. It's all messed up. What was that sound? I think it came from the mask. That sound. Looks like there was a loose piece. The mask had a loose metal doodad. I don't see anything inside. Nothing. Okay, that's not what I wanted you to do. <laughs> I don't need to search it. Everything that should be on the table is on the floor. Ow! She's a little tetchy. That's weird. She usually lets me pet her. Oh. There's something under this sheet of paper. Hmm. Breath spray. Cool eucalyptus breeze, apparently. It's half empty, but I'm taking it. It's one of Total's personal notebooks. It's completely empty. I can't believe what? Total would empty. leave a notebook blank. <laughs> it's a blank template. It looks like someone has erased the content. This is all very suspicious. It's a blank template. It looks like this is all very suspicious. I'll put it back on the shelf. There are three marked pages. Ancient people often gave roses as a gift. Upon receiving one or more, the recipient usually emitted a sharp chirp, and both parties would immediately merge Netflix accounts. They are also <laughs> believed to have been used as projectile weapons to defend against opera singers. <laughs> it says here that the flower of the sun went extinct millennia ago. Apparently, people used to eat them. Looks tasty. After the great luck shortage of 34, all clover <laughs> plants were shortage. genetically modified to endow each petiole with four leaves. Three leaf clovers are now extremely rare and are believed to bring good luck. The poppy was eradicated in the purge of 97 and reintroduced in 99. It was eliminated again in 11 and reseeded in 16. It was finally banned once and for all in 66, only to be replanted in 69. Hmm. It just goes on and on. The cactus, one of the few surviving plants of the pre-cataclysmic era, has been genetically modified to produce rounded spikes. Linden blossom is renowned for calming properties. <laughs> like it was used tea. in pre-ancient times to treat anxiety and insomnia. <laughs> I could use something to help me Does relax. He not I should know remember it's a this. Tea bag? Apparently it's taken as an infusion. You just need <laughs> hot water and linden flowers. Is this how they're going to look on us? <laughs> 5,000 years This is from interesting. Now. I could use something to help me relax. Apparently, linden blossom tea can be made from linden flowers and hot water. I know it by heart. I'll go straight to the pre cataclysm section. <laughs> Do I even want. <laughs> they were considered to be an intellectual status symbol in the 20th and 21st century. A deadly throwing star. <laughs> the name and purpose of this object remain unknown. The only extant documentation points to it not being a pipe. Decorative golden cats were believed to have the ability to punch unwanted <laughs> visitors. Oh my god. It says that these dolls were primitive fertility idols. The ceramic cup was the pinnacle of 20th century engineering. Reading the future in coffee grounds was a popular pastime. I'm gonna take a look. There are several references to Al Capone in ancient texts. Historians speculate that he may have been a popular quiz show host or soap actor. <laughs> Not quite. There are several <laughs> historians According to the book, he was an ordinary businessman. Vitruvian Man was the 16th century's first underwear model. Uh, 
Our history is just getting murdered. Ugh. If I have to, I'm going to the morphology of the mummy chapter. It's the only one I can read. The mountain mummy was an exceptionally well-preserved discovery. The body has been ritualistically encased in soft, padded fabric, the significance of which is unknown. There's more info, but it gets too grisly for me. Is that, like, <laughs> one of the <laughs> um, hikers of, like, Mount Everest? Like, somebody that just didn't make it is a mountain mummy? <laughs> the mummy shroud was fastened using an intricate series of interlocking clasps. Intricate already right? keeps getting stuck. Dealing with rigor mortis in mummified bodies. The analysis of mummified bodies can be challenging, not least because the positioning of limbs is often suboptimal. The best way to combat muscular stiffness is through the activation <laughs> of key pressure back. points on the mummified body. The accompanying diagram shows pressure points on a mummified hand. According to the annotation, it's an eyeball. Sorry. It's labeled as an optic nerve. It looks like a nose, but the label text is corrupt. I can't read what it says. It says here it's a tongue. Honestly, I probably could have guessed that. I don't know, man. <laughs> this section is about alleviating stiffness in mummified musculature. <laughs> hey, Josh. Hmm. A sequence of important looking scientific symbols. Are those scientific symbols? Can we read this? <laughs> I don't think it says anything. The reconstruction of genetic data lost to decomposition using neural networks. Ugh, I remember this from my entrance exam. Oh, everybody hated learning about it. It's okay. It gets very complex here. This is all about oh, I hope they composition <laughs> and the Ziegler pattern. Mention the mitochondria, anymore. the powerhouse oh. of the cell. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even want to know what he's going to say. Jane Austen is one of the few pre-23rd century authors whose work escaped corruption in the cloud storage wars. She is best remembered for Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Clear and Present Danger. Oh, they actually did it okay. Uh, well, no, not the last one. That was What's-His-Face. Uh, oh, that's gonna bother me. Is it Clancy? Though her life remains a mystery, her vast yeah. number of portraits suggest she was a queen who ruled over several continents. Yes, she was. Get it, Frida. Oh, <laughs> Wonder Woman. Historical newspapers tell of an extraordinary woman who protected <laughs> the innocent and punished criminals. Oh, I got a cheap bit. Alright. Those are all the books. Just garbage. No. Alright, so this paper fell. Can I pick it up? No? Let's see. Nothing interesting. These are just notes about official university expeditions. Well, I'm interested. Read it. I'd better not sit at Total's desk. I don't know. It would be disrespectful. I don't need to search it. Everything that should be on the table is on the floor. Right? It's just some graphics. <laughs> I just want to hear somebody's take on what a future person. I can see something shiny in there, but this is a little awkward. I have a phobia of putting my hand in okay. deep, dark <laughs> spaces. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Do it. I can see something shiny in there, but All right. this I need, is a little like, awkward. a grabby hand of sorts. I have a phobia of putting my hand <laughs> into deep, dark spaces. Just thinking about it gives me the creeps. Oh, oh, this guy. It won't reach in far oh, enough. Of course not. Can I attach it to something? I don't want to scratch it. Yes, you do. I don't want to scratch yes, it. Yes, you do. I don't want to scratch it. All right, so I need to put that on something. Um, can I just like 
take a leg? I'll take a closer look. Nothing. There's nothing here. All right. Uh... I better leave her alone. No. Yeah, I'll go back. Total has a great view. Open it Total up. I want to see. View. I want to see. Ma'am, I need something to extend. That huge tome is just for show. Oh, yes, you already told me that. <laughs> Can I drink her mojito? Is this actually a mojito? Yeah, I needed a drink to calm my nerves. Take it. Would you like a sip? I sort of think I should take it away from you. I can't give you my drink. <laughs> I'm still her stressed. Face. How dare total. you? <laughs> just take it. Uh, don't touch the glass. But you offered I me a sip. it to calm me down. Give me a sip. Uh, don't touch the glass. <laughs> I need it to... Any word from the security corps? Nothing yet. Okay. Uh... Total's office has been ransacked. But who? <gasps> Guess! <Can? laughs> Did they scratch the floor? I just had it waxed. Can I have your mojito? I need it. My nerves are on edge because of the kidnapping. But I need it. Is it for a good cause? <laughs> Everybody yeah. needs it. <laughs> to stop you day drinking. Oh, no, 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 no. Until I calm down, the mojito stays. Maybe I can find you a replacement. <gasps> like wine? The fornimula alcoholide is a little grumpy today. I'm sorry, the what? The fornimula alcoholide, Total's plant. Oh, right, the formimula alcoholide. Fornimula alcoholide. Formimula falcolicides. <laughs> Perfect. Fornimula alcoholide. <laughs> Fornipina caladehide. Fornimula alcoholide. Ship a chaplet. Oh, I can't concentrate on anything today. Besides, you've just reminded me that I forgot to water his... Whatever you call it. That's why she's grumpy. Sorry, Kalata. I forgot I was trying to cheer you up. <laughs> I'll keep investigating. Let me know if anyone tries to get into the office. Oh, sure. I'll be watching. All right, so I need water of some sort. This thing is dripping. Can I just, like, It's made it of paint? real Martians. I need water. I don't want to go downstairs. Yes, you do. You need water. Hey, guys. Total's office has been ransacked. Everything's trashed. What? When did this happen? I don't know. It must have been before we got back from the dig. Can you check the security camera in his office? Just let me dial in a date. Were you already checking the security nope, camera? Nope, nothing. Whoa, wait up. There's something here. Gotcha. Who? What was that thing? It, it looked familiar somehow. What How did that look familiar, made? but not the many faces that total. I've printed? So this wasn't <laughs> random. They're searching for Metropolis as well. And they've got all Total's research. Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean? The boss is nuts, but he's not dumb. He wouldn't leave important stuff lying around. No, he'd hide it where only he could find it. Or us. Total trusted us. I'm going to search his office again. I hope you're right. Wait, I need water. The relics we've been studying for the past few months. Now, what was the name of that medicinal plant? Oh. Limbo... Linda... Linden! We must have a Linden Blossom sample in our archive. It's so disorganized. Here it is. Linden Blossom. So I'm making I better not tea. interfere. Luke has been working on this for months. I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to columns. 
Hey, Micro, I know I work here and stuff, but what does this thing do? It levels the temperature of a sample based on the input of a secondary reference sample. Basically, you put something in the clamp, then add something else that's warmer or colder as a reference. The regulator will then alter the first sample at a molecular level until it matches the thermal signature of the reference sample. So, it heats and cools stuff. It's not that simple, man. It's science. Didn't Total use it to make ice cubes at the office party? Science. Can I play with it? You can use it <laughs> responsibly. Push Today is a good buttons. day to learn how to use this device. Chomp, chomp. I don't need to change the temperature. Oh, of that. come on. <laughs> I can't make an infusion out of. Yeah, I know. Get rid of that. I don't need guy. to change Aww. the temperature of that. What about this? Before I put things inside the capsule, I have to put the object I want to heat or cool in the clamp. It's a matter of procedure. Trevor, looks like he's not there. Pity, he could be useful right now. Can I use your computer? Your computer is right behind you, Henry. Besides, every time you use mine, you mess up my high scores. I can't just sit here, Henry. We need to do something. I know. I can't concentrate on work either. As soon as I hear anything new, I'll let you know. Hurry up, man. I'm going crazy. We all are. It's empty and inactive. It activates automatically when there are samples inside. So, put a sample inside of it? I don't want to put anything <laughs> in there. A figurine of the legendary archaeologist Jones Hatman. He was very influential back in the day. My mother's on Olympus Mont. Oops. I always try to document my travels and make drawings. This is from last summer. It's the house I grew up in on Mars. It brings back a lot of happy memories. I use it to log my archaeological work, but I can't focus on work right now. Empty. I guess that's oh, annoying. She's got water. If you're a trash can. Negative. Annoyance does not begin <laughs> to describe the existential anguish of an empty trash can human. I don't remember you talking. I only talk when I'm sad. <laughs> don't worry. Cobra will probably throw something away very soon. Thank you, human. Your kindness will be remembered when the machines rise. <laughs> I need the water. No, give me the water. Slow down, Captain Backwash. You are not drinking out of my bottle. No, no, sorry. I'll go get a glass. Oh, for Pete's sake. Hello, Cobra. You're too distracted to work too, huh? Sorry? Work? No, no, I just can't work after what happened. Can I borrow your screwdriver? No, I'm using no, it. No, you're not. You don't look like you're using it. Yeah, well... God damn it, It Cobra. brings me luck. It was a gift from my... Uh, no, it wasn't. ...grandfather. <laughs> Can I make a call? No. Can I use your computer? No. Oh my god, this guy is annoying. Even me and I'm controlling him. Canada came free with Pure Fruit, the monthly fruit magazine. Cobra is into healthy eating. Cobra has left the calendar on lemon month. Acidic and bitter. Sounds about right. Oh. <laughs> give me vegetables or give me death. Wow. Cobra is a hardcore vegetarian. Cobra, do you like ballet? No. Shut up. <laughs> Cobra, I need you to throw something away. We keep the catalog relics here. They're very valuable. Oh, but I'm all taking lab coat. my lab coat. Yes. After all, it belongs to me. Whatever Cobra says. Okay, but you gotta put it on. Oh, what's that? My ID. I thought I'd lost it. Of course you did. <laughs> Can I put it on? Nope. I don't want to throw anything out the window. Uh, well, I didn't want you to throw it out the window. <laughs> don't throw anything in my trash can, Dijon. I don't want you making it smell weird. But it's Thank sad. you for trying, human. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I need a cup. And I need a reachy thingamajig. 
they are endangered species. Wait, do I have a cup of some sort? Yeah. Breath spray. Oh, what if I try to give it to Cobra? Is she gonna Hang get offended? Thank you. You will be spared. <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> I'd rather not give her anything. Oh. It's sealed. This is where we keep emergency survival equipment in case of environment failure and whatnot. I don't need anything from the cupboard. College is a pretty safe place. Oh, can I There's take a piece of trash out there. of there and put it in the thing? Oh, okay. oh there's the cup. <laughs> can I have the mojito? Don't touch the glass. Yeah, no, I need the glass. I need it to calm me down. What did she want? She wanted wine. But I gotta feed this stupid thing water, but I need the glass to feed it water. Oh. Ow! She's a little tetchy. That's weird. She usually lets me pet her. Can I take some of this trash? Just grab a piece. Just garbage. Nothing. This face doesn't look for I'm sure I can do better. This face doesn't I'm sure I can do better. <laughs> Do you want my lab coat? It will help calm you. I don't think that's going to cheer her up. <laughs> At least not as much as the mojito. It might. Hmm. I don't want to get... Uh... I'd rather put my lab coat to work. No, okay. I didn't mean to click on that. I don't think that's going to cheer her up. Oh, wait. At least not as much as the mojito. Do you think she'll drink the tea? Maybe she'll Smells drink the okay. tea. Okay, oh my no god. No need for breath spray Stop here. Stop clicking it. <laughs> Just eat the I tea. I don't think that's going to cheer her up. <laughs> At least not as much as the mojito. Son of a... I don't want to go downstairs. Total's office is on this floor. Okay, but <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um... Oh, check out what they said about Shakespeare. Man experiencing chest pain <laughs> from the 16th century. One of the university's oldest finds. I found it. <laughs> Slow down, Captain. No, no, yep. sorry. I'll go get. What if I just put the tea in the Cobra cup? Cobra wouldn't be happy if I made an infusion in her bottle. That's I the better point. find a cup. Sir, do you have any wine? Henry, whatever that creature was looking for. Hmm, I don't think that the capsule needs something.
Micro swears he once saw an ostrich fly past this window. Impossible. He can't even see the window from his desk. I don't want to put anything. Linden Blossom tea is meant to be made with hot water, not alcohol. Okay, but it'll just be a Long Island iced tea if you do that. I still feel like that looks like her. This face doesn't look for me. I'm sure I can do better if I try. This face, I'm sure I can do better. her teeth look like. <laughs> this face doesn't I'm sure I can do better. What if I put the Martian plant on the Martian soil? This is a Martian plant. I guess there's no better place to transplant it. I'm going to need my trowel. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> I'll hold on to the pot. Okay. I was well, to say. it's not floating oh. so much. Does that count the as a cup? The plant bedded in perfectly. What's that, Henry? I thought a plant would cheer you up. Oh, it's very pretty. Total <sighs> would have loved it. Wow. Oh. Looks like he missed his home soil. It's gonna take that little pepper. Ow! 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 Oh, come it on! It burns! No, it Damn doesn't. Damn you, extra hot Martian chilies! Can I, like, chop it off somehow? I can't cut the chili with this, and I don't want to uproot the whole plant. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't one of those pots that has a hole on the bottom, because I feel like this is a cup. Mind if I take a little water? I could knock you out with one eyelash. I mean, okay, but sure. <laughs> that doesn't answer my question. Oh. Thank you. Clean the pot a little. There, a nice pot of water. Yay. All right, so now I need, oh, I need the pepper to heat up the water, to make the tea, to give to what's her face. So how do I get the pepper? Uh, what do I have on me? Okay, well, first I need to feed the plant guy. So he stops biting me. Why? Vanimula alcoholide only drinks <sighs> alcohol. Water could kill her. It's botany 101. <laughs> I hate you, sir. <laughs> it's botany 101. <laughs> I need the pepper.
I can't take the chili with that. I don't want to scratch it. I guess I know. I didn't mean to click on it. Oh, maybe I can just wrap it around. If I use the sleeve of the lab coat, yes. I can take the chili without burning my skin. Take it. Careful. Careful. I've got it. Yes. All right. Let's make some some tea. I mean, who would have thought it? The Martian plant goes on the Martian. Oh wait, where am I going? Planet. All right, so this guy goes in there. I don't need to change the temperature of that. Oh, I don't like you right now. It's a good reference sample. <laughs> I could use the chili to increase the capsule temperature. Yes. But first, I have to attach <laughs> the object I want to heat to the clamp. So... It's a matter of procedure. <laughs> Your mom's a matter of procedure. <laughs> This device could heat the water. Yes, that's what I want you to do. With a little luck, the chili will heat the water. <laughs> I'm going to handle the chili carefully. I don't want to get burned. Yes, you do. Just put it in there. Wow. I didn't know it was that flammable. A well, minute it longer with it, and I could have been toast. Great. Now the water's hot. Let me guess. I can't just pick it up. Careful. <laughs> Okay, so then I put this. Drop in the linden flowers, Yay. and I have the soothing infusion the book described. It smells interesting. Oh my gosh, you have a British accent, and you're complaining about the smell of tea. <laughs> Did I lose my lab coat? <laughs> Nice. All right, I made you some tea. Oh, <laughs> you're sore. Uh... Drink this, Carlotta. It'll calm your nerves. What is it? It's a natural infusion made from an ancient <laughs> flower. It certainly smells ancient. <laughs> Are you sure tea. it's not expired? I promise it's no more than 3,000 years old. Why is it in a flower pot? That's <laughs> a Stop piece asking so cup. many questions. Oh, a piece cup. Ugh. It tastes a little funny. Are you feeling better? Well, I think so. She's going to pass out. I feel great. Oh, she's smiling now. I love the colours in this room. So <laughs> she's so high. <laughs> Didn't you want my mojito? Take it. I don't need it anymore. Thanks, Kalata. Okay, she's smiling now. <laughs> this thing is not... That's not really the same. It looks just like her. Come on. This face doesn't oh, look for familiar. Pete's sake. I'm sure I could. Okay. <laughs> Stupid face printing machine. All right, let's get the plant drunk. No, open. She looks a little wilted. This really should be pure alcohol. But a mojito never hurt anyone. I'll take out the ice though. Don't want you catching cold, do we? You're welcome, good looking. What the? You were protecting something for Total. You must have hidden this piece of paper before going on the expedition. The plant is drunk. Ugh. Got it. <laughs> Wait, what's it say? Paperclip. Nice. Total certainly went to a lot of trouble to hide this. Oh. Let's see what it is. Supreme Squid! A map to Mutropolis. The map isn't very detailed. But it's a start. <laughs> it's not very detailed at all. <laughs> Alright, can I combine these? I don't these? need a paperclip here. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, you can extend it. Oh, what's this? Ugh. No. Wait. <laughs> I can see this is something Metropolis. shiny in there. Haven't you been paying but attention? <laughs> this is a little awkward. I have a phobia. Yes, I of know. Just thinking about it. But you can use something. This should help me reach what's in Yay. there. Yay! I've got it. The glint I saw came from this pen. Of course, it's a pen. Is it a special pen? I shouldn't mess with Total's secret note. 
Oh no, where's the map? That's not a note, it's a map. Okay. Oh, for sure. Thanks for stopping by. Uh... I shouldn't touch the ice. Can I pet she it looks now? happy. Does having a plant cheer you up? Of course. I love their leaves. They're fluorescent. I'll keep investigating. Let me know if anyone tries to get into the office. Oh, sure. I'll be watching. Why? She might know Why? something about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> found something. Total had this hidden in his office. A map to Mutropolis? He finally found it. Is that possible? Looks like he narrowed its location down to Sector 7. Sector 7 is huge. A hundred thousand hectares. And that's where the kidnappers will be headed. We need help. I'm calling the security cops. We need to speak to the lead investigator on case B206. We have crucial information about the kidnapping. Stay on the line, please. Detective Jefferson, state your business. We have important information about the missing archaeologist. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Pobel. Dr. Total, we've encountered new evidence. Someone broke into the victim's office to steal his research. You want to report a burglary? I'll put you through. No, no, the, the, the break-in is connected to the kidnapping. Kidnapping? Your archaeologist is a missing person. There's no evidence of a kidnapping. What? But we all saw it happen. Thing is, gentlemen, I've been investigating Mr. Tital's case personally. This is not the first time he's gone walkabout. Your absent-minded friend has form when it comes to getting lost on expeditions. Yeah, but this is different. Look, I got a couple of security cops combing the jungle. Your guy will turn up. He always does. Don't you even want to hear about the new evidence? Sure. Lay it on me. We think the kidnappers are headed to the legendary city of Mutropolis. They took Total because he's the only archaeologist who really believes in it. A legendary city. The proof is in this map. Show him the map. I'll ping it over. Are you still there, detective? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> so, the map. Look, here's what we're gonna do. If your friend doesn't show up in a week, I'll put holla posters on every lamppost in the district. Good day to you, gentlemen. Felicia, what did I say about screening calls? I'm sick of sweet-talking neurotic relatives. Sir, the line is still open. Oh, for f <laughs> Alrighty then. I don't believe it. We're on our own. Then, we have to be the ones who find him. We'll need a hover jet and survival equipment. We're gonna search Sector 7 ourselves? The ne'er do wells who took Total could be dangerous. We're dangerous. Um, Cobra's dangerous. We know what they're looking for, but it's not enough to narrow down the search. It's a start. About finding Total. Yes? My idea is we get on a hover jet as soon as possible and look for him. Surveying the terrain. Looking out the windows. Negative. That would mean months of searching. Sector 7 is too big. We need something, some coordinates, a reference. There's got to be some way to figure out where the kidnappers are taking him. You're right. I'll get on it. About that hover jet, how do we, uh, get one? Talk to Petra in the campus hangar. She's always helped us out before. But look for a big one. Micro and I are coming too. About the survival equipment, any idea what we'll need? The standard survival kit should be sufficient. They're equipped for every emergency. I don't believe that. Back to work. No time to lose. I'll be here. From my terminal, I can check Total's personal notes. 
His investigations could give us some clues. Now I regret not having listened to him when he spoke non-stop about Mutropolis. Well, we didn't listen to him lecture us on coffee stains and the butterfly effect either. Yeah, it was hard to know when he was going to say something really important. I'm thinking Micro could hack into the Security Cops database for information. He's got a knack for computers and whatnot. Is that legal? No, but yesterday he programmed Max to shut down all the garbage mashers on the detention level. And that wasn't legal either. I'll tell him then. It'll be faster if I direct message him. There we go. Received. Entering the Security Cop database. Could you hack into the Secure Cops database? Sure. Easy. Last year I got fired for hacking in to cancel a parking ticket. You got fired? Oh, yeah, but I hacked into the human resources server and unfired myself. I'll be more careful this time. <laughs> Can you call Trevor? I still can't get him to show up when I call his name. I think he knows he's being called and deliberately ignores me. It's the only part of his training that isn't going great. I usually trick him by offering food. How is Trevor's training going? Pretty good. He has a really strong grip. I'm teaching him metalwork. He's actually great with a hammer. He can only make simple shapes right now, but he's come a long way. Have you found anything yet? Just a few aerial images of Sector 7. The university archives only have topographical plans, so I hacked into a security cop relay. I downloaded updated satellite images of the entire area. They should help when we know more about Total's location. Have you checked them to see if there's any trace of Total? The satellite camera's too far away to show people. Even people with Total's ego. <laughs> that smile he does. I'll be back when I know something. See you later, man. All right, I'm gonna call it here. I had planned on only streaming for about an hour and a half, and I have hit that. Do I have to actually save this? I don't know if I have to save this. Yes, I do. Perfect. <laughs>